Hello everyone, Gabriel here, and today we are going to learn how to use the Mark Detection OCR engine to capture checkboxes like those ones here, and signatures like those ones down here. The first step, let's create a new field for that signature down here. I will create a new field here and I'm going to call it second signature. And now I have to create a zone for that field over our signature field. OCR zones mode and then let's create the zone here. Since it moves a little bit, I might want to anchor it and I will anchor it to that text here. And since it is a single word, I will just set it to one, the fuzziness. I click OK. And now the extra step that we have to take is to open the advanced options here. You click here. And now instead of using a standard OCR engine, I'm just going to select mark detection. And here you can see the threshold level. Everything is set to show the threshold level. And I can use either the threshold or entity count. For the signature, I'm going to use threshold. And here, that's the threshold that Chronoscan is reading. If I have my trigger level set to small, smaller, it will be true. And if it is set to higher, it will be false. Since I do have a signature, I want to have the threshold, the trigger level, lower than that. I'm going to just type in 8. And you can see it is true now. I click OK, and now you can see the field here on the form view is set to true. That means we do have a signature. Now on the other document, let's make sure that Chronoscan can read. And you can see it is set to false. So again, the first thing we have to do, let's enlarge a little bit that area here. And it is still reading false. Let's open the advanced settings and see how the threshold reads. That's 229. And the other step I have to make sure I do is to turn adjust off. Now you can see the threshold actually keeps the same. So what I have to do is just reduce the trigger level. That has to be true. Now it is set to true. And when I go back to the other document, it works as well. That's for the signature. Now let's take a look at the checkboxes. I have a box for yes and a, a box for no. I'm going to create two more fields. Student yes and student no. Now I will create the, the OCR field for the first one for yes. And this time I want to be very careful. I will just select exactly inside the box. And again, I'm going to anchor it to that word here. Fuzziness set to one because it is a single word. I click OK and then let's open the advanced set settings. We change to mark detection. And here, since it is a word, we might want to use entity count. You can see it counts zero. It might be a good way. I will just increase this to two. So it is set to false and click OK. Now let's create for the no. Again, I select the student no field, OCR zones mode, and then let's create the box inside the other box. And there we go. Now let's open again the advanced settings. And let's not forget never to turn adjust off and do the same thing for the other field and change to mark detection. And instead of thresholds, let's make entity count. You can see here it is 12. So if it is set to something smaller than that, it is going to be true. Okay, so it is true. Now let's change that one also. Turn off adjust. There we go. And you can see now the, the reading changes. That's four now. So I'm going to make that a five. Okay. And now let's see how it works on the other documents. You can see here 
false and student no is set to true. That's perfect. Now let's see how it works on the other document. We have the student's yes set to true and here no set to false. You can see here that the zone is moving, so let's anchor it. That's also a very important step. And I'm going to set the fuzzy very small. And now let's see how it goes for the second page. You can see the zone doesn't move much, but the result, result is always the desirable. I'm just going to check and try to move the zone a little bit. Let's remove it and create a new one here. There we go. And now let's make sure it's triggered. Okay, it is still set to false. So we might have some problems like those ones, but now you can see it is the position is better. But now it's reading false. Let's read again. We have here 10, so we might have to reduce it. Let's make it a 9. And you can see it's true now. And false here. And the same thing here. Here is correct. So that's it. That's how you use the mark detection OCR engine to have your checkboxes and your signatures captured. You can also check our manual and the link is going to be on the description to see how you can use the detection, the signature detection to export the actual bitmap for the signature on your exports. So that's it guys. I hope you liked it and I will see you on the next tutorial. Bye bye.